why can't we use a let variable instead of a ref in React, like we have here? We have this count variable, we're defining it using the let keyword over here. Then we have a handle click function that is going to increment the count. And then we have a console lock that is going to lock the value of the count every single time that the component re-renders. Now, the problem with this approach, because we've defined this count variable here with a let, this is actually going to get reset every single render. Because what we're doing here on this line is we're defining and initializing the value of the count. So it doesn't really matter how many times we actually click this handle click function to increment the count, every single time that the component is going to be render, our count here is always going to be locked zero. Now, keep in mind that calling this function here is not going to re-render the component because we're not using state. But let's assume that something else would re-render the component, our count here would always be zero because we're using a let variable. If we change it and use a ref instead, like we have here, we have this count ref, we're using the use ref hook from React with the same initial value, then in our handle cling function, we're incrementing the ref. Then this console log over here is going to keep track of that incremented value of the count and log it every single render. Now, again, just like with the let example, calling this handle click function here is not by itself going to re-render the component. For that, you need a state variable or something else to cause a change. But if that component re-renders, this console log here is going to show the updated value because refs keep their value across renders. That's the whole point. It is a React hook. It works with the React lifecycle in some way, and it keeps its value across renders unlike let. So conclusion, always opt for a ref instead of a normal let variable in React.